What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And this is a thank you video I'm doing for some really awesome presents that a really awesome friend got for me off my Amazon wish list. All these presents came from Bill. So, yeah, thanks so much, Bill, for these awesome presents. Let me show them to you right now. So, the first one was a portable hard drive that I really needed and really wanted. Thank you so much for this, Bill. Um, I film so many videos and I run out of space because I'm always, like, filming so many videos and I always try to keep my stuff backed up on uh, many different hard drives. So, thank you so much for this, Bill. I really appreciate it, but there's a lot more. Also, ink for my printer as well, which I absolutely didn't need, which I really always need, honestly. So thanks so much for this, Bill. I really appreciate it. And also the new selfie stick as well. <laughs> this one's really awesome. I needed to get a new selfie stick, but thank you so much for this one, seriously. <laughs> and also for this red uh, metal wire, too. I was going to use this for one craft thing I was going to do. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to use it for when I have it done, but thank you so much for this, but there's more. There's also these. These pieces of paper that are supposed to look like old parchment paper. Um, I was actually going to use this for one other project thing I was going to be doing. It's supposed to be like a journal that I'm going to be writing from the perspective of Napoleon. Basically about me traveling back in time and meeting Napoleon and helping him take over Russia and all of Africa and him becoming a world leader because I travel back in time and I have supernatural powers. But the story is supposed to be told from his perspective. And obviously him and I fall in love with each other and a lot of X-rated stuff happens. So yeah. I was actually going to use AI to write that one because I feel like an AI text generator would do a better job at writing a journal from the perspective of Napoleon back in the 1700s. But uh, yeah, that's one dream I've been having quite a few times. My autism mind is weird, but yeah, uh, that, that's going to be posted on DeviantArt. And yeah, that's on its way. So thank you so much for these, Bill. I really appreciate it. And then there's also the black briefs. Thank you so much for these as well. These are the silky kind. Yeah, I always wear a pair of briefs whenever I'm rubbing one out because they make my parts feel more sensitive when I use the fly slot. Um, yeah, pretty sure you guys all get what I'm saying. But yeah, thank you so much for these, Bill. Really appreciate it. Another present that Bill got for me off my Amazon wish list was this. A metal bell with a pentagram symbol on it. What I am going to be using this for, I'm using it for my satanic altar that I'm going to be setting up. Now, before you guys get freaked out, um, the people who practice Satanism, they don't believe in an actual devil or an actual Satan. Um, it's more of like a... My best way to describe Satanism, it's more that people believe that they're their own gods, really. That's my best way of explaining it. Basically, it's just a religion where you, where you cast spells and do rituals and stuff like that. You're not actually worshipping Satan or any devil or worshipping anything, really. You're just, uh, you're just, like, following the Satanism religion, which is much which is much less judgmental than the Christian religion that says it's not okay to be gay and everything and makes everything a sin. I mean, Satanism is definitely not like that. They don't do anything bad at all, really. I mean, yeah, there are revenge spells and stuff like that, but that's only if you direct those at people who deserve it. My, my one other friend who I've been talking to online really been wanting me to get into the book of Satanism, and my grandma actually ordered that for me, because I asked her to. <laughs> I haven't read the book of Satanism yet, but I do have the Satanic Bible. I mean, that's what it's called. And my friend told me that I need supplies to set up my Satanic altar. Not the friend who got this for me, though. It was a different friend who told me all that. 
one of the things I needed was a bell. And I also need a chalice, which is like a drinking cup thing to do the spells with. I also have that on my Amazon wish list as well. But this was one of the things I needed to set up my satanic altar. So thank you so much for this bill. I really appreciate it. I'm honestly not really interested in doing the destruction or revenge spells at all. I really wanted to do the satanic spells to attract a crazy obsessive lover into my life who would fall madly in love with me, as you guys all know. I mean, that's what I truly want, honestly. I'm trying not to focus on revenge spells or anything like that, really. So that's basically what I plan on doing once I have my satanic altar set up and once I start casting spells from the satanic bible. A bunch of love spells to summon a crazy obsessive lover into my life exactly as I want, because only a crazy man will love Joe Winko as... How many times do I have to say that? But yeah, since I'm a crazy man myself. And last, but definitely not least, my Ouija board. Thank you so much for this bill. I had this on my Amazon wish list for a long time. I didn't think anyone would actually get it for me. Not gonna lie, I am a tad bit afraid to use it. I just don't want to end up being possessed by a demon or anything like that. That's what I'm mainly worried about. The main thing I wanted this for is to talk to spirits and talk to ghosts. As I said, I was looking for a crazy obsessive man who would want to become my lover and who would want to orally copulate me over and over and over again. That doesn't necessarily have to be a man who's alive, however. And don't get me wrong, I'm not like a necrophiliac or anything like that. I mean, gosh. But I am open to being with a ghost. I actually think it would be really cool to see a ghost. I mean, I've seen ghosts before, but to actually like be in touch with one and be in contact with one and actually hear one talking to me and to even form a intimate love relationship with, I, I think that would be really awesome for some reason. I mean, since I'm having such a difficult time finding a living guy to form a love relationship with, but eh, one day. Either a living guy or a ghost. But yeah, thank you so much, Bill, for this awesome present. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the awesome presents. So I'm going to be doing a Halloween live stream today. Um, I should have done this video earlier today, but I'm going to be doing a Halloween live stream today gonna paint my face as a clown like always and play a whole bunch of video games so stay tuned for that I probably will be starting it by the time you guys watch this video and if you guys miss it today um, you can just watch the archive because it's gonna be saved onto YouTube but that's what I love so much about live streaming whenever you live stream it gets saved onto YouTube you can also watch all my other Halloween live streams from the years before 2023, 2022, 2021. Yeah, they're, they're all going to be listed in the pinned comments of this video and in the pinned comments of my Halloween live stream. And the link to my Amazon wish list will also be in the pinned comments of this video. So that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much, Bill, for these awesome presents. I really appreciate it. And yeah, that's technically it. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget to watch my Halloween live stream, which I'll be doing today, because it is Halloween. So yeah, that's basically it. Peace out, people.